Доброго вечора, ми з України. My name is Katerina Pavelka. I am a journalist from Ukraine who came to Sweden with my family because of the war. The Voice for Ukraine is the pod where I speak with brave and caring people in Sweden, both Ukrainians and Swedes, who stands with Ukraine in these dark times. Let me introduce Fia Hammerstrom, the director of The Voice Professional from Stockholm. She was so kind to me that gave the opportunity to record this pod at her sound studio in Stockholm. Fia, please tell a little about yourself and your production company. Hello, everyone. Uh, yes, I am Fia Hammerstrom. I started my company 30 years ago. And uh, pod is a new thing, not so new, actually. We uh, like pods because um, many people, they like to listen to stories and uh, We have some stories now to tell them. In Ukraine, we have this sad situation with the war. And what do you think about it? Well, I was a little bit shocked because um, Ukraine is uh, more European, so to say, in my head. So when the war and the Russians um, invaded everything, they invaded U- the Europe market, so to say, in my head. And in the first, uh, I was looking, of course, um, all news was spread everywhere. And then I saw that it was only um, children and uh, women, and the other one stayed there. Many women fight uh, too, so it's not only men. And I saw a girl, she was a, a pilot, um, and she was uh, shot by the Russians. And um, I, I think it's everything so sad, so sad. So uh, what I did was, um, I was thinking I have to do something too. And I saw people, very many Swedish people, um, help them in very peculiar ways. Uh, it could be diapers, for example. It's very easy for us to buy packaged diapers. Uh, and it's it could be various things that could be to help. You know, I have the studio times that I can, if, if I can do anything for you, I will do it. And um, then I saw you and your husband um, and you came to Sweden and you had a nice picture of you and you said my husband is a videographer and I uh, and I am a journalist and I was thinking okay uh, maybe we can do a pod of this one because then I heard so much stories I read on Facebook and I was thinking this is a way for me to reach out other people together with you uh, start this pod and uh, see what people have done and want to do and maybe people want to help but they haven't um, understood what what they can help with now we can uh, come up with a youtuber channel that we are going to do now and we combine it with a pod so some of the not all but some of the reportage will also uh, include that we go to the people and we uh, do interviews there and you can watch their situations and That's yeah. so nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so thankful to you because, you know, uh, this war in Ukraine, it's uh, it's about bombing, it's about fighting, but it's uh, also informational war. So when we can do something to tell the world about this war, uh, honest and uh, how is, how it was, how it is, I think we can make the victory of Ukraine closer. Yes. And... Uh, I want to ask uh, I want to ask you why is helping to Ukraine and Ukrainians is such important for you? It is because I think they the Russians invade Europe when they invade uh, your country because it's so close and we live uh, the same and we do the same things so um it I think that is why I think it's like defending yourself. Yeah. yeah. So to say, and now the Russians are dealing with Sweden as well and and Finland, and uh, so of course we would like to help you. And I think if we reach out a hand, we will have something back. Uh, do you know something about Ukraine before the war? Yes, actually, I I helped uh, a Ukraine person with uh, other things, uh, and I have helped Ukraine uh, tourists. I talked to a girl. She said I have been ten times in Europe as a uh, as a tourist and now she here as a refugee 
So it's, it's really sad. Yeah. It could be me. Next time it could be us. What we can do so such situation couldn't repeat in Sweden and in Europe? This is one thing. If we can bring out this pod and if we can bring out the YouTube channel in any way, I have uh, Russian friends, for example. Is there any way to, for them to listen to the truth? Because we are many who sees it. Uh, I think also that the Russian military um, sees it, but they can't do anything because they are afraid and they are really scared, so to say, what you do. Um, and I don't know if it's, you know, if you remove Putin, I don't think the problem is solved. That's the issue. So it's a tricky one. But I think that Putin, he has changed a lot of his... Um, I think he's maybe old and he's afraid and he something happened. And then uh, a sick man who who can just do things because because he wants. Mm-hmm. That That's a dangerous situation. We spoke with uh, Karin Karlsbro hmm? and she told so great thing uh, that uh, Sweden can learn from Ukraine that democracy is worth to fight yes. for it. And uh, how do you think what uh, what Swedish people can know about themselves when they are helping to Ukraine and Ukrainians? I think that um, we are Sweden is not the only one a country um, who is going in help them. I think there are very very much other um, countries who wants to help um, and um, give uh, Ukraine. Things like uh, um, doctors, uh, ambulances, everything that they can support with. Um, and I think also that if it, if this war comes closer, Finland and Sweden, I think we are ready to fight. I think we are like angry as is. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that anger can be to help too, because don't fuck with us. Mm-hmm. And what I hope is that the young people in Russia take stand and say, okay, this is not okay. This is not what we want uh, Russian, because Russian will, it doesn't matter if they, so to say, win Ukraine, because they will not win. They will not win anything. No respect. They know, I mean, no one wants to work with them. Yeah. And that's sad. We have in this war, like, uh, very creative and very optimistic leader of one region of Ukraine, Vitaly Kim. And he began every his pod from the phrase Dobroho vechera, my z Ukraini. It's oh like, uh, good evening, we are from Ukraine and I will tell you what's going on. Okay. So please, can you repeat Dobroho vechera, my z Ukraini? Dobroho hachvi? No. <laughs> Once again. Dobroho vechera, Dobroho vechera. My z Ukraini. Me z Ukraini. Wow. What? Thank you. <laughs> you you know Ukrainian. <laughs> yes, I know Ukrainian. Thank so, you. Thank you very much, Fia. It's like, you know, it's uh, it's like hope for us. Of course. Because we can find these miracle stories uh, of help, of support. And Ukrainians here in Ukraine, they can understand that they are not alone. No, they are not alone. We are many in this one. And we are many fighting for um, Russian to understand what they are doing. Because I don't think even the military, is, who everyone is sent, they are sent into yeah. something that really don't, can you know bear because they don't know what to do yeah. and when they come there they uh, see that it, shit it's war it's not a, a training camp or something yeah. it's war so that's why I think it's very very important that everyone uh, give gives information mm-hmm. and not propaganda so uh, information 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 and true information so when you came here I saw your passion I saw because passion is a word that you if you keep your passion even if it's war if you have a passion and you have a strength you can die with the passion but you and the strength but you have it and you can also do something with it and if you have that one that gives you some strengthness 
which you go on and you can go on and on and on and that's what you have here so i'm so we thankful will do this <laughs> yeah thank you thank you This was the voice for Ukraine, the port where I speak with brave and caring people in Sweden who stand with Ukraine in these dark times. If you want to share your story with us, please send it to email voice for Ukraine for as number at voice.se. Slava Ukraini!